Welcome to the second in our series, 10 Things Your Friends May Not Know About Drugs. Here's the question. Most drugs don't hurt your mind. True or false? False. In order to really understand this question, the first thing we're gonna cover is what a mind is. Your mind is basically made up of pictures. To be exact, we take 25 of these pictures every single second. It's very, very rapid fire, one right after the other. Bang, 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 bang. All in order, all in sequence, all very well timed. How many of you have ever seen one of those real old movies before, like Charlie Chaplin or the Keystone Cops where they're moving all herky-jerky and it's jerky across the screen? Well, the reason that that looked all herky-jerky is because in those days, they'd take a light, they'd throw it, shoo, up on the screen and through that light, they would run 11 to 15 pictures a second. So when you watched it, your own mind is moving right around 25. It was moving about 15, so it looks all jerky. Today, same deal. They take a light from the back of the theater, throw it up on the screen. Through that light, they run almost exactly 25 pictures every second. So when you watch it, your mind is tracking with the film and it looks normal. Okay, this thing is constantly, constantly, constantly storing information. We use this tool to solve problems. We look out here into present time and what he's learned back here, the answers are fired to him very, very rapidly and he solves the problem. Here's the problem with drugs. Let's say a person goes out and drinks too much alcohol. The pictures in his mind during that period of time, they get a little distorted, kind of foggy, kind of blurry, hard to recall, hard to remember. At Narconon, we call these blank spots in the mind. If you've ever heard of somebody, they've gone out to a party on Saturday night and they go, hey, I must have had a great time at that party, but I can hardly remember driving home. I'm sure all of you have heard that before. Well, those blank spots, each time the person takes the drug, they begin to build up and it becomes harder and harder to remember or recall things from the past. So when this guy goes to get his answer from his mind, it, it just doesn't work as fast. When he goes to solve everyday problems, he doesn't have that nice, find computer to help him solve those problems. Don't miss part three of our series. It covers why people actually take drugs. If you'd like to visit our website for more information on drugs, it's www.narconon.org. That's www.narconon.org.